Hi friends, welcome to today's video and today we will talk about a mysterious command that a lot of people use and nobody can really tell me why they use it because it's, to be honest, it's unnecessary. It's a command that will tell the dog to stay. So most people will say they walk, they tell the dog to sit down and then they say stay. So that will mean for the dog you will sit there and stay till I tell you otherwise. But let's imagine we have one command. Let's say we have sit. Sit means sit down and wait till another command comes. So why we use another command, uh, the command stay for the dog, it's really unnecessary because when the dog knows what sit, down, stand, whatever, what that means, then you don't need a second command for the dog to stay in that behavior because the behavior itself tells the dog to stay and wait for another command. So I will show you why I don't use that command and, and I will show you that is, the command is really unnecessary to give to the dog because the dog knows sit means sit till I tell you otherwise. Also, if you want to go on IGP trials, for example, the BH or IGP trials, it's forbidden to give a second command to the dog. So when you go on the BH, you have the exercise, the sit exercise, you walk, you tell your dog to sit down and then you just walk away, turn around, wait for the judge to tell you, okay, go back to your dog and you go back to your dog right next to the dog and then you tell them to heal. So in the trial, it's forbidden to walk, tell your dog, sit, stay, and then walk away. Because that means you give two commands and that's some points lost in the trial. This just for you as an information. All right, I take my dog and I show you why it's unnecessary to give a second command. So right now I'm just gonna show it in an example of the sit and the down command and I will use both ways. Um, I will once tell him only the command and the second version I will tell him to stay. So in German stay means bleib. So I will say it in German because the dog split up in a German language. Fuß. Fuß. Sit. So you see the dog has the command to sit down and I can walk around. In theory, I can walk around the whole day because the dog knows he has to stay in the sit position till I tell him otherwise. And also I have two possibilities now. I can reward him with a marker or I can just go back to the dog and tell him another command. Yeah. So I just released him and release means he did a good job. You can end what I told you and come and get your reward. So I will show you another version in a second. Yep. Switch. Sits, bleib. So as you see, I told him to stay, which means bleib in German. And it just makes no difference for the dog because this command doesn't mean anything to the dog because I don't use it. Because when I say sit, sit, it means sit down and stay till I tell you otherwise. So I go back to the dog. Switch. Yeah. So as you see, the dog waits in the sitting position till I go back and I tell him another command, which means we go healing on the right side. So you may be wondering why I switched from healing from the left side to the right side. Uh, this has the purpose that I don't want to mess my healing command up because the dog doesn't, doesn't know the command to stay. So I don't want to mess anything up in my healing position. That's why I switched to the right side where it's not so important that the dog is constantly walking perfect. So this was a short explanation of the mysterious command stay 
which is really unnecessary as you saw in the video. I can't understand if some people use it at home when they tell the dog they have a place board or some place where the dog has to stay. So then you can go and tell your dog to stay. But that's another command for the dog to stay on the place, on his, yeah, on his place where he has to stay. Therefore, I use different commands in my daily routine with the dog. So I don't mess up my sit down or stand command. So I just use other commands. But for that, I will do another video. So subscribe to my channel to not miss uh, the video. So this will not only work with the sit, it's, it's the same with every command you give. Sit, down, stand, whatever. When you tell your dog a command, the dog has to stay in that command and be obedient to that command till you tell them otherwise or you just release the dog to get his reward or to stand up, whatever. If you like the video, uh, please leave me a like and if you have any questions, just write it down in the comments and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye.